there's a spider! Okay, here's the truth. I'm gay. And I know this can be quite a shock to you guys. JK, you guys are probably like, bitch, we heard, we saw, we motherfucking knew. I also knew too, okay? I knew for a very long time. I just thought, what better time to announce that I'm part of the Legibata, if not Pride Month, where my rainbow powers are at its strongest. I hate rainbows. Now, you're probably thinking, great, another Asian twink. What's new? That's like every other Asian guy. But, but, let me tell you guys why I'm a little bit different, okay? I'm just like Chick-fil-A. My internalized homophobia makes me a little, a little, a little spicier. The little self-hate that's infused within their patty, it just, it reminds me of the good old times when I used to get bullied. It's very refreshing. Well, it's more like I just hate it when people make being a part of the Alphabet Mafia their whole personality. Like, we get it. You like to suck dick. I do too, just without a partner. Sit the fuck down, babe. So I just told my parents that I'm gay and I feel like my life has just completely changed. Now I'm not on my parents' will. Okay, just kidding. I didn't tell them because I'm my dad's good boy, okay? I still want daddy to buy me a house. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, if my parents and my family see this, I'm literally gonna get killed. Oh well, who doesn't want to meet God earlier? Actually, I'm probably not gonna meet God. You know, Satan's pretty hot though. Like, I've seen like Lucifer porn and... Let me, let me just say it's really good, okay? It's like high quality porn. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. It's like, aside from the jokes, but... I feel like nothing has changed. Like, I knew that I was gay, but I, I just never said that I was gay. I never announced that I was gay. Like, people have told me that I'm either aggressively homophobic or I'm in a glass closet. And let me tell you, I do not belong in the fucking closet, okay? Maybe the basement. Basement BDSM porn is pretty hard. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest there. But, um, the closet is too fucking small for me, okay? It's too small for my personality. And I literally sort of got kicked out of my own closet because of the fucking spider in there. Oh my god, there's a spider! It's scary! But like, yeah, I don't really feel much different saying that I'm gay, you know? Like, this is my- okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is my first time saying that, like, I'm gay, and maybe I should shout it out. I'm gay! Oop, I actually don't want my dad to hear me because I still want his money, but I just want to say, yeah, I don't feel any different. Like, this is the first time that I'm announcing that I'm gay, and it doesn't really feel nice. There's a lot of self-hate in it because I used to be bullied about it. And bitch, this is not a fucking sob story, so get it together! But I used to get really bullied about it when I was younger because I was more flamboyant, more cooler than everybody. But now that I think about it, they're just jealous I would not suck their dick. Well, that's actually a lie. I don't know, I feel like I sort of hate myself more now that I'm saying that I'm gay. It's like, it really is internalized homophobia from the Chick-fil-A patties that I've been eating. I'm personally at a loss of words, which never happens. But I just want to say that it's really difficult for me to say this because I did mention the internalized homophobia, but it's just feel like I just never really stuck with the label. Like, I've tried my very hard to stop acting so flamboyantly or so feminine. I know that when I talk on camera and on video, I like talk a lot with my hands, but like when I'm actually talking to like professors or people who I want to be friends with, I, I have to pay really close attention to what I'm doing and what I'm saying and how like I intonate my voice. Like with you guys, I really talk in a high pitched voice because I'm really excited and you guys are my friends. When I'm talking to like strangers, I talk to a really low voice like this. And like whenever I talk to my friends with my heterosexual voice, they get really confused. They're like, what the fuck? Andy, shut the fuck up with your heterosexual voice. And I do have to say that my heterosexual voice is really cute and really hot, but it's just not how I really talk to my friends. And I do have to say that this is a nice change of pace. I know that like in my past videos, I make a lot of like porn references and like porn jokes And I just have to admit that a lot of the porn that I do watch is gay BDSM porn You know, just gonna be honest, just just gonna put it out there for everyone to know Just gotta be honest with everyone But like that is not to say that I did not watch some straight porn, okay? Especially straight BDSM porn Because sometimes I feel like the grass is greener on the other side And let me just say, straight BDSM porn is not that hot Like, <laughs> sorry babe, it's really not that great But don't discriminate I watch all the porn, okay? Like... <laughs> oh my god, some of the stuff that I watch is really freaky. <laughs> And I gotta be honest with you guys, like, my friends indirectly know, like, I called them once, and I was like, Hey, I think I might like guys. And they're like, Girl, we've been knowing, like, we've been knowing that you've been secretly sucking your own dick on the side. And I'm like, how did you guys know that I was so flexible? Yeah, my friends were not surprised by it, and that's not to mention that a lot of my friends are girls, you know? I like a little competition, you know? I did steal one of my girl's boyfriends, but... This is probably like a bad idea. I should probably not be posting this online. I mean, it just wasn't the reasons why I got kicked out of my church. So you guys probably knew already. <laughs>
Now it's time for me to do a lot of gay things. Like sucking another person's dick, cause sucking my own dick is not that fun. Okay, I gotta stop beating around the bush. I gotta start beating my meat. But like, here's the main point, okay? Listen up, bitch, this is the main fucking point. I never really fit in with like the other gay people because I'm like, ugh, why do they act like that? And like, I know I mentioned how I don't like it when people make being part of the alphabet mafia, their whole personality. Okay, that's like a lot of self-hate, but it's like too much, you know? Like we get it, you like to put on makeup, but that does not mean that you have to show me the makeup that you put on your asshole, okay? I'll eventually discover that later on at night, not in clear daylight, thank you. Like, I know I've done a lot of like girly things and like like taking care of my skin, which is not really even girly. Or, like dressing up nice, oh, I hate straight men. Straight men are sort of hot, but then like, they are so crusty, dusty, no thank you. When I was younger, I used to get bullied a lot, as I mentioned, and a lot of people who bully me were my own cousins, my siblings, which is why I realized that I don't need that fucking roaches in my life. Roaches belong in the fucking trash can. I'm starting to distance myself away from them because I realize that I, I'm better than them. Like, I know that. And I know that they won't love me for who I am. Well, this is so sad. They won't love me for who I am because of what they've done to me and how their bullying has affected me. And it's also been knowing that like, I forgive them, but a bitch will never fucking forget, okay? Word to the wise, a bitch will forgive, but never fucking forget. Because I'm not gonna get stabbed in the asshole again with their dicks. I finally got my tea. The whole explanation was so dehydrating. <sighs> but I didn't tell any of my family. I only told you guys because I definitely do feel that you guys are closer to me than my family. And personally, sure, I do sort of want to have a relationship with them and those people who have hurt me in the past, as I mentioned before, but I definitely don't think that they deserve the best for me. Okay, but I think I should answer this question about why I have not announced this earlier, aside from the several points I made before. But it's also because I'm sort of scared. Even if I do feel that I'm proud to say that I am who I am, I generally do feel that people are gonna hate cry me, okay? It's difficult being Asian in America and now I have to add on being gay, like it's difficult. But something that I do see within myself is marrying a hot rich man, okay? I mean, I'm not that picky, okay? It, you could be a woman, a water bottle, a dog, a plastic bag, as long as you have money, okay? I'm not a very picky person. So marrying a man was a fucking lie, you know? As long as you're rich, it's fine. <sighs> And that's a motherfucking tea. Okay, now I'm making myself look really bad. But now you're probably thinking, when am I gonna get a boyfriend? And personally, is it bad if I'm dating a man who's 20 years older than me? Yes, but thank God the man that I'm dating right now is 40 years older than me. So he has quite an experience, you know? He has quite the money saved up. No, just kidding. He's broke. But like, I just don't feel ready to date, okay? I'm too busy sucking my own dick. Why do I need to suck another person's dick, okay? And how can I ensure that that other person's dick is clean? That's... That's the main question! But I definitely don't feel like I'm ready to start dating anybody. And if I am gonna date somebody, I'm definitely gonna find my date on seekingarrangements.com because I am sponsored- No, just kidding, I'm not sponsored by- But like, if I'm gonna play the games, I'm gonna play the games correctly. I'm gonna play it right and take everything to my advantage. Another reason why I like, have taken so long to announce this, even though I've been watching gay porn for at least 10 years of my life, if I'm really- watch me like say this, but I'm gonna be on a dating app tomorrow or something and find a hot date. Probably not a hot date, okay? My students are pretty low. But I definitely feel like I'll be ready to date someone when I'm 20 years old at least. Like I definitely don't feel like I'm old enough or mature- well I am mature enough. But just- I just don't feel I'm ready, you know? And I'm still young, okay? All the dicks that are waiting to be sucked by me, they can wait. And I also heard wrinkly dicks taste better. Five minutes later. So I just got the app grinder. Oh! Oh! Okay! I'm gonna just send him a dick pic for revenge. Just not mine, cause I'm too insecure. But I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking with me, and I hope you guys could share this with your other friends, or with people that you know who may or may not be in the closet, so that makes them feel better, because I definitely wish that, like, last week I had watched a video, like the video that I'm making or that I'm filming right now. But I definitely do feel a little trepidation about filming this video because in mainstream media, I've never really seen like a person like me, you know? Like a gay Asian, <laughs> why'd you say this? There's like 60,000 other gay Asian men, you know? But like, my point is like, I'm not really interested in like makeup, femininity, dresses. And I just like, I act pretty straight. Actually, no, that's a fucking lie. But like, I try and act straight, not because I hate myself, but because that's just sort of who I am. And actually, I do hate myself, that's a lie. Yeah, I've never really seen anybody who's like me in social media. So I don't have a pre-existing personality I can steal. It's difficult being original. Oh my God, which bitch is calling me? Hello? 
Okay, yeah, I'll call you back later. Let me finish showing this video first. I finally got a girlfriend! Ah! I hope they have a dick. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have not already, share it to a gay friend, okay? Share it to a gaysian or part of the Lajapata army, you know, just to make me feel better. But are you proud of me? You know, this took a lot of time, energy, and, you know, but like everything, you know. But most importantly, remember to stay unbothered. Bye.